Their age group died from coronavirus more than others and still surviving seniors face significant challenges. A new study found five tri-state counties with higher than average risks for social isolation. Which begs the question right now, why? Reporter Larry Seward is getting some answers. United Health's Philanthropy Foundation crunched stats from all 50 states in every U.S. county, grading each on 39 factors affecting the well-being of people 65 years old or older. They found Hamilton, Highland, Campbell, Ripley, and Adams counties in the 58th percentile or lower, meaning in most of the country, seniors are doing better. All the seniors that we serve, 53% um, of them live alone. So they're living alone in their own home without any family or friends. Now during COVID-19, that was made a lot worse. There were all these orders to, you know, to shelter in place. So that accelerated that isolation. Ohio owns the country's sixth oldest population, which grew almost 30% between 2009 and 2019. The Council on Aging for Southwest Ohio sees need for more qualified home health aides, more transportation options, and more ways to get food to seniors stuck at home. All of it is part of isolation hardly made better in the coronavirus pandemic. Just ask seniors like Kathy Angie. I didn't go to a restaurant for a year. My husband has a lung condition. I felt pretty strongly that if he got COVID, he would not survive it. And I want to keep him around. So um, I was willing to see my grandkids at a distance and see my children at a distance to keep him healthy. In Indiana's rating, this report highlights challenges in high early death rate, obesity, and inactivity. For Kentucky, it's high poverty, not enough exercise, and one of the highest risks for social isolation in the country. None of it surprises senior care advocates. You can understand how if someone lives in a rural setting, how you think, oh gosh, they're isolated because they live way out in the country. But, but it's not exclusively that. You know, you can live in an urban setting and um, not have the kind of community connections that help you um, really have that protective, you know, community around you. It makes people more susceptible to um, financial exploitation. This report detailed too how impactful it can be in a negative way for people's, you know, physical and mental health. Researchers say their findings exist only to help public health leaders prioritize needs. Already, the Council on Aging for Southwest Ohio has new programs to deliver meals to more people and they're pushing to bring more attention to that health care worker shortage. Larry Seward, WCPO 9 News.